Hi, I'm Joe Urbanski and I want to share with you, based on personal leadership, the principles to live above and beyond. There are six principles that I swear, if you apply these, you will change your life, your relationships, and your career. So go ahead, let's start with number one. Principle number one is on vision. Imagine an improbable future and lead the way to unbelievable results. So let me explain this from the top. From the top, let's start with vision, right? What does it mean to have a vision? All great leaders of the planet, Martin Luther King Jr., Mother Teresa, JFK, Malcolm X, Rosa Parks, Christopher Reeve, they all had a great vision, something that was bigger than themselves. All great leaders dream. They all have ideas, right? So what I want you to do is imagine an improbable future, improbable meaning that it's probably not going to happen. That's what great leaders do. That's what great winners do. They imagine an improbable future, something that no one else would have ever imagined. No one else woke up and said, I have a dream. No one else said, I'm going to help as many people as I can, no matter what it takes. I'm going to be so compassionate, like Mother Teresa. No one else, when they had a break in their C2, C3 vertebrae, said, I will walk again. I will find a way. I don't know how, but I know why. Great leaders have a reason. They know exactly why they want what they want. So I want you to imagine an improbable future, something that probably won't happen, and lead the way to unbelievable results. I'm going to show you how to do that. We've got four ideas here. In the center, you see the word be. We've got do, have, and create. Think about this right now. Take a moment, stop, and think. What do you want to do in your life? What do you want to do in your relationships? What do you want to do in your work? What do you want to have? What do you want to create? I'm sure these are answers easy, easy to come up with. But then I have, if I ask you the question, who do you want to be? It's a much more challenging question. It's a lot harder to answer. But if you think about it, can you do the things that you want to do? Can you have the things you want to have? Can you create the things you want to create if you're not first who you really want to be? For example, let's say I want to, what do I want to do? Well. Oh, I want to win, I want to win a million dollars. <laughs> what do you really want to do in this lifetime? For example, what I want to do is I want to have a child. I want to, I want to, I want to raise two kids, not three. My wife wants three. I just want two. I want to raise two kids. I want to have a great family. Um, I, what's important to me is that we create a, a family culture, a ritual, something that's important to us. Is there any way that if I'm focusing on my family life, is there any way that I can do this, have that, and create that if I'm not first the kind of person that allows that into my life? You think the perfect relationship doesn't come from finding the right person, but being the right person that everyone else is attracted to. If everyone else out there is looking for a great leader, if everyone else out there is looking for a great relationship, if everyone else out there is looking for a great job, doesn't it make sense that we observe the masses a little bit and do the opposite? If everyone's doing that, we don't want to be like most people. We want to be like ourselves. That's my job here, to help you become less like most people and more like yourself. So if everyone's looking for the great leader, looking for the great relationship, looking for the great job, Instead of you looking for it, why don't you become what everyone else is looking for? We're human beings, not human doings. Yet so often when we think about goals and we think about our improbable future, we think, what do we want to do? What do we want to have? What do we want to create? Instead of, most importantly, who do we want to be? Which is the most important question. Who do you want to be? Who are you going to be that easily achieves these goals of doing, having, and creating? Who are you going to be? That's the easy, easy solution, but it's not the easy answer. So I want to help you. It's the idea of be who you are becoming. Be who you are becoming. Who is the kind of person that does the things that you want to do in your improbable future? Who is the kind of person that has what you want to have? Who is the kind of person that creates what you want to create? Think about that kind of person and walk in their shoes now. Be that person now. Be now who you are becoming later. That is principle number one. It's about vision. It's about knowing what you want. Christopher Reeve said, I will walk again. So he didn't walk around like, uh, well, he didn't walk around. <laughs> Not yet. But he didn't wheel around in his wheelchair as a paralyzed person. Because he said that what bothers him most are able-bodied people who paralyze themselves in some other way. And so he went out there and he did everything possible to not act like a paralyzed person. 
Martin Luther King Jr. did everything possible to act as if civil rights already happened. Mother Teresa does everything she can to act as if she's already the person that has brought love and warmth and compassion to other people's lives. So who are you becoming? That is the first challenge that I have for you. Principle number one, imagine an improbable future and lead the way to improbable results. Principle number two is based on your mission. This is leading yourself. Lead yourself before leading others. So let's start again, right at the top here. Mission, what does mission mean? If vision is what you want, mission is how you're going to achieve it. Right now, I don't care how you're going to achieve it. It doesn't matter. Christopher Reeve didn't know how he was gonna walk. Mother Teresa didn't know how she was gonna help everybody. JFK didn't know how we were gonna reach it to the moon. They just knew what they wanted and why. And then they led themselves before they led others. This is the idea that what I want you to do is go ahead, find a mirror. Right now, later on, whenever, I want you to find a mirror. And I want you to put yourself right in front of that mirror. And I want you to look at your reflection. And I want you to see what everybody else sees when they look at you. But I want you to do this in a fancy kind of way. I want you to close your eyes in front of this mirror. And I want you to focus and breathe. And just let out all your guilt, let out all your anxiety, let out all of your frustration, let out the world. Get the world off your back. I just want you to breathe, put yourself in neutral. And for a moment, act as if nothing else mattered. Just put yourself in complete neutral. Open up your eyes and then look in the mirror. And then tell yourself what everyone else sees when they look at you when you're in neutral. What do you look like when you're in neutral? I first did this activity, oh, it was amazing. I first did this about two or three years ago. And I closed my eyes and I did this. And I opened my eyes and I looked sad. And I said, sad? I don't wanna look sad when I'm in neutral because then when I'm happy, I probably look like I'm in neutral. So I said, what do I need to do? If I'm gonna lead others, if I'm gonna be a great winner, if I'm gonna achieve great things and have a lot of fulfillment and integration in my life, if I'm going to emerge as the person I want to be, I can't walk around in neutral looking sad. So I had to put a little smirk on my face. Maybe it was something I did with my eyebrows, but it's just the way our complexion, our face, our, our figure happens. So are you going to let it happen to you? Or are you going to happen to the world? Are you going to make a change? Are you going to lead yourself before leading others? Put yourself in front of a mirror and say, how do I want to look when other people see me? So close your eyes again and you do this activity. How do I want to look? Who am I going to be? What do I want to do? What do I want to have? What do I want to create? Put yourself in front of the mirror and answer that question. And then open your eyes and take a look at what's different. Maybe you'll have a little smile. Maybe there'll be a little spark in your eye a little glimmer, something different. Maybe it'll be the shine on your forehead. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it may be, I want you to look in a mirror and decide who you're going to be. Because when everyone else looks around, the first thing that we judge is people's appearance. It's their energy. It's their aura. And you think of a charismatic person, someone who's charming, they've got that, don't they? They definitely have that going for them. So my challenge for you is lead yourself before leading others because we usually do what we usually do. What I mean by that is simply this. Miserable people see misery all around them and they find ways to be miserable with everything. Depressed people do the same thing. They find ways to be depressed, they find ways to get down on themselves. Sad people see sadness all around them and they find ways to be sad in any given situation. Poor people do the same thing. They find ways to continue to remain poor. On the other hand though, happy people, in the worst case scenario, find ways to be happy. And they see happiness around them. Rich people find riches all around them, and they live in a world that is rich. What kind of person are you going to be? Because we usually do what we usually do. Are you going to be happy? Are you going to be sad? Are you going to be miserable? Are you going to be upset? Because you know exactly what to do with your life if you want to be sad, lonely, depressed, tired, bored, anxious, or upset. You know exactly what to do. Drop your head, think about crummy thoughts, and walk around like this all the time. In fact, put your hands in your pockets. Go ahead, do it. You've done it before, haven't you? So if you know exactly what to do to feel that way, if you did the opposite, wouldn't it make sense that you feel a little bit better? We usually do what we usually do. So the question I have for you in how you're going to achieve your vision is what do you usually do?